Hello again. Today we're going to be conducting the Great Straw Swath Experiment. So, have you ever wondered, when you've got your straw swaths, do you get more in your straw swath from wheat or barley? And do you get more in your straw swath if you have fertilised that crop? But if you fertilise, you get a higher yield on the crop, which would stand to reason you'd get a higher yield on the straw swath. So, I'm going to conduct an experiment to see whether or not that's true. So I've got wheat, one row not fertilised and one row fertilised and then I've got a barley crop, one strip not fertilised and one strip fertilised. So we'll cut them, then we'll forage them up into forage wagons and see what we get from each straw swath. You never know, something amazing might happen. So, I've got the standard CR1090 that I normally use. I'm using Lintner tractors just for a change. You can customise them in all different colours, and I've got four different colours. And I've got the Euroboss Forage Harvester trailer. I don't need very big ones because there shouldn't be a lot in them after this experiment. So, we'll jump into the harvester, harvest them quickly first. So, I'll probably speed this bit up check first of all that I've got the straw swath enabled otherwise this will be a pointless exercise I've sped this bit up only because this isn't the important bit what we get in the straw swaths is Just park that one up. Now we'll move on to the barley harvester. And we'll do the same thing with that again. Just check to make sure straw swath is on. And we'll park that one up out of the way. So, first of the tractors. So, we're going to do the first swath on the wheat, no fertilizer. Turn the forage wagon on, lower the pickup, and off we go. I avoid weaving all up the field and make sure I pick up every scrap I can. So the first swath, 6,602 litres. Okay, jump into the next one. Same thing again, forage wagon on. Lower the pickup, and away we go. So this is the fertilised strip. Logic would dictate you should get more in this swath, but I don't know whether the game engine allows for it, so we'll see. 6,836 litres. Not a huge difference. You're going to get a little fraction dis dis uh, difference only because when I did each strip I might have done one a slight bit longer or a slight bit shorter, but only marginally. So that kind of takes away the fact we, th you know, I thought possibly you'd get more yield if you fertilise. So now we'll see whether or not a barley crop will give you more in the straw swath than a wheat crop. This is where the whole experiment could fall apart. However, it's still an experiment, and a negative result is still a result. It answers a question. That was very scientific, wasn't it?
So we've got 6,839 litres, about the same. So not much difference between a wheat crop and a barley crop. And we probably already know now then that whether it's fertilised or not is not going to make any difference to that yield. But we'll just finish the experiment off and double check. And let's see what we get. 7,006 litres. That's a little bit more because I think the strip was a little bit longer. So, a negative result. It makes no difference, okay? But, we now know, or I now know, whether you cared or you wanted to know in the first place, it's interesting to find out anyway. So, it makes no difference whether you've got a barley crop that is fertilised, a barley crop that is not fertilised, a wheat crop that is fertilised, and a wheat crop that is not fertilised, the straw swaths will be the same regardless. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching.